some steam today with Desert Rush. was incredible! Took me by surprise! Ah, oh, don't tell me you're not interested. Oh, 
Sir, have excellent timing. I'm conducting a seminar and would appreciate your help. And, as thanks for your assistance, rest assured you will be handsomely rewarded. All you need to do is speak with my lovely pupils here. Four of these folks are lying while one and only one is telling the truth. Your job is to find the odd one out. Ah, there's also a small fee to participate. But I'm sure you won't mind. <laughs> you know, the bars around here serve drinks so watered down, you can go for hours on end and still not feel it. You know, I just run by Bail Jumpers sometime. Their own specialty sunshine is like nothing you've ever tasted. Promise. You know, the bars around here serve drinks so watered down, <laughs> you can go. The weapon store owner's got a few screws loose, if you ask me. I mean, what's he doing selling potions of all things? The weapon store owner's got a few screws loose, if you ask me. I'm dying to read Gus's autobiography. Meditations on the Outlaw Life, but the bookstore still doesn't have it in stock. I'm dying to read Gus's autobiography. <laughs> Gus's crib is covered in graffiti, like some kind of art museum. My personal favorite is this adorable Del Sol Cactuar. Gus's crib is covered in graffiti, like some kind of art... Well, do you think you can... The truth is out there, as they say. I encourage you to walk around town and find it. Have you tried the Beast Battleground yet? I hear that Type Zero monster's a real toughie. Have you tried the Beast Battleground yet? Well, do you think you can figure out who's telling the truth? I'm dying to read Gus's... The, you know, the bars are out here. The weapon store owners... I'm Gus Have you tried the Beast Battleground yet? I hear that Type Zero monster's a real toughie. Oh, too bad. I'm afraid you've been had. My pupils have a knack for the art of deception. Well done. Discerning the truth is a skill, just like telling a lie. Now then, what say we take it from the top and have you try again? Well, do you think you can figure out who's telling the truth? You need to get yourself over to the local bookstore to nab a copy of- The weapon store owner's got a few screws loose if you ask- Hey, you ever heard of a place called Bail Jumper? Yeah, the finest booze around. The weapon- You checked out the graffiti at Gus's place? He's you should test your might in the Beast Battleground. They've got a rare monster named Bug Zero. You checked out the graffiti at Gus's place? <laughs> You've been hoodwinked once again. Better luck next time, friend. Well, do you... You gotta check out Garf's autobiography. It's kind of weird, but Gus has a picture of Stamp on his wall. You should test your might in the Beast Battleground. Hey, did you see the Stamp graffiti over at Gus's crib? You gotta check out Garf's autobiography. You've been to the weapon shop? It's if you're looking for a place to get loaded, then look no further. You've been to the weapon? You gotta check out Garf's autobiography. Me it's kind of weird, but Gus has a picture of Stamp. Congratulations! Their deception was no match for your powers of perception. Beware, my aspiring swindlers. Clever ones like this are harder to fool. But, so long as you continue to train and apply yourselves, I can teach you to swindle even the toughest marks. Yes, yes sir. sir! As for you, rest assured that I am a man of my word. Those greens are hard to find in a place like this. 
Quite the handsome reward, wouldn't you say? Six is plenty. Pico will get sluggish if he eats too much. Let's check in with Esther. You got a problem? <laughs> you got a problem? Drinking good tonight. Hey, keep it moving. Huh. Hey, keep it moving. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna be drinking good tonight. Damn it! Anyone with a brother is next to the gospel. Pico's right as rain, and fit to hit the track whenever you are. When you're ready to head up to the stadium, just speak to your babysitter over there. <laughs> oh, before you go, if you happen to have any more greens, consider trading them in for racing gear. Vegetables are hard to come by down here, so I'd be happy to buy yours. Hey, nice find, Merc. kick the tar out of those other jockeys. I'm excited to see what a Merc can bring to the races. Pico couldn't be more ready. Now it's up to you to take the reins and ride him to victory. I'm excited to see what a Merc can bring to the races. y'all get to eat veggies. It ain't fair. No Pico's as ready as he'll ever be. If you can't win, you got no one to blame but yourself. Pico's as ready as he'll ever be. If you can't win, you got no one to blame. So, you ready or what? Ain't got all day here. So, you ready or what? About time. Let's get this show on the road. Come with me. Actually, on second thought, I'll take him up top. That work for you? Say what? <laughs> Bye. You want to go roll in the hay with this idiot? Go wild. And on that note, follow me. You better not embarrass us, Blondie. I think you got places to be. You'd better not embarrass us, Blondie. He's a whole new bird now, though. Might even have what it takes to win. Question is, do you? Even the fastest Chocobos can't win Jack without the right jockey. I've seen my fair share of promising birds wasted on riders who didn't know their asses from a hole in the ground. Believe me, in the racing world, it's all about who's holding the reins. No pressure, though. Competing in the race today? Yep. We'll get your bird prepped for you. 
Just sit tight in the jockey lounge. And no wandering off, okay? Bug boy? Hmm? <laughs> hey there, Joe. Why, Esther, you grow lovelier by the day. <laughs> uh-huh, sure I do. Oh, where are my manners? This here's Joe. He's one of Sam's jockeys. <laughs> and as much as it pains me to admit it, the man's far and away the best rider in the sport. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. This is Cloud, an up-and-coming star of the track, and all ours. Be sure to wave hi when he laps you. Well, sounds like you got a fan, son. I wonder, though, you win her over with your skills, or with one of them smoldering looks? <laughs> Don't see why it can't be both. About time I had some competition, assuming Esther's not full of it. For both our sakes, I hope she isn't. <sighs> Forget him. The race is starting soon, so stay focused. Speaking of, you might want to consider practicing. The sim here can help with that. Or we could team up, take Joe down a peg. Aw, a bug boy. I'll go easy on ya. Or we could team up, take Joe down a peg. Hey, I'm trying to manifest a win here. I will beat Joe. I will be famous. I will beat Joe. Hey, I'm trying to manifest a win here. I'm just brushing up on my bird calls before the race. I'm just brushing up on my bird calls before the race. Your first race ever, and it's with Joe? Well, try not to get trampled out there. Your first race ever, and it's with Joe? This being your first race and all, you should probably do a few laps in the sim. This being your first race and all, you should probably do a few laps in the sim.
Hyperion is Joe's bird, and it's a fast and rugged son of a bitch. Things bred to win. Next race will begin shortly. You ready to make your debut in the racing world? Please proceed to the paddock. Hyperion is Joe's bird, and it's a fast and rugged son of a bitch. Things bred to win. You good to go? You good to go? Survive that recent shooting. <sighs> You're not talking about the Coliseum, are you? Yes, I was there. Or I would have been had I not gone to the bathroom just before. That's amazing. <gasps> You're so lucky. Aren't I just? Which is why I know my bird's a winner. <laughs> Ooh, what a scrumptious looking parfait. And with plenty of butterscotch, I see. Bottoms up. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Got eyes on him. Oh, I'm fine, thanks. Do you know how hot it is out here? I'm melting. God, what asshole decided our uniforms had to be black? I'll be there as soon as I can. You freaking better. And bring something cold to drink. Or better yet, ice cream! Is vanilla No, okay? vanilla. Seriously? I'm gonna heat stroke over here! I'm gonna die! You want that? Do ya? <sighs> Wish you were here, partner.
just provided the encouragement. And thanks to you, my prison's gonna be a goddamn palace. Good for you. Ooh, so frosty. But here in the desert, we like it hot, fiery, dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. Now where's our guy? Easy, Snowflake. Solemn Gus is a man of his word. Are you scared I'll break my promise? That tunnel over there will take you where you need to go. Past all that quicksand like a slippery little sidewinder. And at the other end, one of my beautiful vultures will be waiting to guide you through the desert. So be a good tourist. We got old Shooty McShooterson tied up nice and tight in a shack out in the scrapyard. But now he's all yours. Turn him over! Give him his just desserts! It's your call to make. Now we just gotta square things away with Shinra. And with an articulate fellow like me leading the talks, that'll be a cinch. Now we just gotta square things away with Shinra. And with an articulate fellow like me leading the talks, that'll be a cinch. Don't suppose you're in the market for a charming young racing consultant? suppose you're in the market for a charming young racing consultant. You guys moving on then? And what are you gonna do? Since you put Pico's name on the map, we'll stick around for a bit. Try and get a winning streak going. Besides, we still got a score to settle. Sure you'll be okay on your own? No man with a bird is ever truly alone. Hey, Cloud, I know you need to hit the road, but if you're ever itching to get back in the saddle, come around. Pico will be here. No, we'd love a victory lap. It's been a minute since a chocobo of ours won anything. Gramps and Chloe are gonna be over the moon. It's been a minute since a chocobo of ours won anything. Gramps and Chloe are gonna be over the moon. There's no way Barrett shot those people, right? Are there any other gun-armed dudes who would have gone on a killing spree? We know him. He'd never do that. Well, we'll find out soon enough.
fighting back. It's on you. You can do it. Let me handle this. Not bad, but not my best. on sun for weeks. Thank God we found you. We were worried. You on the lamp, big guy? The hell I am! Ugh. What are you guys doing all the way out here anyway? Looking for whoever decided to shoot up the Coliseum lobby. They said the culprit had a gun for an arm. They did, huh? Tell me it wasn't you. Frankly, it might as well have been. Barrett, talk to us.
I know the man who murdered all those people. Dine. My best friend. It was four years ago. The corral reactor had just gone up. Dine and I had been to check it out, see what the deal was. But on our way back... None of this makes any sense. That explosion could have brought down the whole mountain. So where the hell's Shinra? That's a damn good question. Whatever. We need to get back and tell them what we found. God. No. Shinra, they just showed up and started shooting. I think they're trying to cover up what happened at the reactor. To pin the blame on... Hey! Over here! Please. This ain't happening. God damn it. The village. Marlene and Eleanor might still be there. You ready? For what? <laughs> still so quick to throw in the towel, ain't you? Come on. Damn it. Everything. Shinra has a reputation for safety to uphold, which makes you liabilities. Saved me. Put me back together. Most of me, anyway. There was no saving my arm, so I made a call. Instead of the normal prosthetic, I chose a means to an end. Guess Stein had the same idea. I guess he did. I'd resigned myself to the fact that he was dead, but if I'd known he'd survive too, I... So that's why Dine shot all those people? To get back at Shinra? I don't know. I saw him at the saucer, saw the bodies and the bullet holes, but that's not who Dine is. Whatever his faults, he's not a monster. If I can find him, talk to him. I know we can figure this out. Well, okay. What are we waiting for?
No time like the present. Just your imagination. Excellent work completing 
much of a challenge. That was very impressive work, Cloud. Using the data from your battles, I've devised a new trial for the simulator. Which I supervised. I think you'll find it to be a most fascinating scenario. So please, do give it a try.
celebrate.
Done. That's you. Hey. I know you. Dying. Hang on. I'll get you out of here. <laughs> As I live and breathe, Barrett Wallace. Come on. Bless your heart, dropping by for Eleanor's birthday. What? Hell, Marlene. Is that a place for Barrett? <laughs> yeah, he's looking fit as a fiddle. Oh, good question. She ain't with him. Where's Myrna? She ought to be here. Dine. What happened to you? Though, come to think of it, I don't see a gift, neither. But you ain't the kind to come empty-handed. God damn it. his kind doing here you son of a bitch still living on Shinra's kill no man it ain't no. like that <laughs> 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 you here to help me? <laughs> He's here for you to take the load off your shoulders, right? Same old shit.
I thought you were here to help me. that leave me, huh? I thought you wanted to help your own body! <laughs> what? No wise words? Coward! When the going gets tough, he's gone. Yeah, you're right. About everything. I should have never believed him. But that money... I thought it changed our lives. It changed them all right. You know, I can hear her now. Eleanor, as clear as day, begging me to stop, give you the benefit of the doubt, saying you ain't done nothing wrong. But then who's gonna answer for what happened? Oh, I know. Shinra! Always Shinra! Oh. I took. 
left. I want to see them again, and I know what I need to do, but I can't. I just can't. Eleanor and Marlene are waiting for me, but I can't bring myself to join them. Marlene, she's alive. Just turn four. She's in Midgar. Look at that. She's got her mommy's eyes. Hair, too. After everything went down, I didn't know what to do. Myrna was dead. And I figured you were, too. All I had was guilt and regret, and the weight of it was too much. But Marlene gave me the strength to carry on. She nearly died that day. House was about to come down when I heard her crying. And ever since, She's been my reason to get up in the morning. You took my baby girl from me. You knew she meant the world to me. You knew, and still you took her. That's not true. You took everything from me. Everything and everyone. Dying. We can go see Marlene right now. <sighs> Look at me, Barrett. You think I want Marlene to see what her father's become? Stop. With all this. Goddamn blood on my hands. How could I ever hold my daughter again? Barrett! <laughs> 